I'm an artist. I'm an artist at heart. I'm an artist in my soul. And I'm also a survivor of child sexual abuse. The biggest thing, of course, I just said that that gives me everything that gives me a reason to breathe and to wake up is, is the idea of creating something new, creating something beautiful, creating something meaningful, whether it's a poem, whether it is a large piece of artwork, something that speaks to the world, even if that world is just mine. Until the public, and because that's where the money comes from, until the common public is, is ready to see and acknowledge sex as a real critical factor in how we be in the world, it's up to me and the folks that I know um, in my community to support this project so that the word does get out. Um, to tell my friends about it and to tell my friends, if you can, if you, if, if you can donate, donate. This should be a federally funded program. I do believe that we can one day live in a world where um, violence is is not a thing. I, I believe that because I see a lot of us doing that kind of work, thinking about that kind of work, what that world might look like. I guess the thing that, that really struck me was how the HEAL Project was giving the information, how it was presented. It's so its own thing. It's its own brilliant, unique, living, breathing thing. To really see sexual liberation embodied was, was really the thing. That's the thing that was missing in the work that I do, and that is missing in the work that a lot of us do in the collective movement. Ooh.